back in the 60s and we were into the, the simple life and back to nature. And we wanted our children to grow up amongst live animals and growing things and running water. Among other things, we kept a couple of dozen chickens. And our chickens did what comes naturally to chickens. They ate bugs. They fertilized the yard. They woke us up and they kept us entertained with their social foibles. But the chickens also gave us an opportunity for presenting various important life lessons for our daughter. You know, things about life and death and the inconstancy of the male in affairs of the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs in one basket. That's <laughs> We gathered eggs every day. Mm -hmm. and a couple of times a week, we'd take eggs into town to the new drop in and trade them in on uh, breakfast. That is, my wife gathered most of the eggs. And our daughter Antonia gathered some of the eggs. But it was always up to me to get the eggs from under the little red hen. <laughs> most of our chickens were anonymous, but we all knew who we were talking about when we said those dreaded words, the little red hen. The little red hen was not a nice person. <laughs> not the sort of person that you would want to encounter in a dark alley. Most of us weren't too thrilled about encountering her in that alley. has some reason, some excuse at least, for being afraid of chickens. She maintains that she was terrorized by a killer rooster on her grandmother's farm when she was a child. Even to this day, she speaks in tones of awe on that great white bird that lurked behind farm buildings and machinery just waiting to leap out and attack and carry off and maim and even kill innocent little children like her. She maintains that that rooster stood three feet tall and wore a hockey mask. But I was determined that my daughter was not going to grow up being afraid of chickens. Although my wife assures me is that we move into the 21st century, chicken fear is going to be less and less an issue. <laughs> so I thought I would apply the scientific method. So Antonia and I sat down with the kitchen table for a little talk about chickens. And more specifically, um, the little red hen. Why won't you get the eggs from under the little red hen, Antonia? She pecks me, Daddy. She pecks everyone. But it doesn't hurt more than just a pinch, does it? Well, aren't you about 15 times bigger than the little red hen? Yeah. Aren't you about a million times smarter than the little red hen? Well, now look at them. We own the little red hen. She belongs to us. We feed her. We house her. And it's part of the deal that we get to have the eggs. Now let's get the basket to go out to the hen house and gather some eggs. Scientific method, you see, experimentation, replication, all that sort of thing. <laughs> so we went out to the hen house, and then Tony went around and gathered the easy eggs. And I praised her for her courage. But when we got to the nesting box where the little red hen was sitting, we peered in. She glared back at us. <laughs> And Antonia stepped back and gestured to indicate that this one was up 
could look. So I step forward. I put my hand up on the edge of the nesting box. And I turned and looked at Antonia and said, now she's going to pack. But we know she's going to pack. So we're not going to be surprised, are we? You know you. Gee, that little red hand hit me a couple of sharp taps on my hand. It did smart a little bit, but I just kept smiling. Now, Antonia, I don't want to tease her, so I'm just going to slide my hand under and take the eggs. I reached under the hand and gathered up two eggs and slid my hand out again. <coughs> And I held up the two eggs to demonstrate my point. Oh, yuck! Antonio. So I looked. And my hand was covered with blood. <laughs> <laughs> that pen had, had picked a hole on the side of the dime in the back of my hand. And I think she must have been going for an hour. I don't know what she had in that nesting box. A machete made the earth. I'll take away at it. <laughs> well, I could see that I had lost this argument. <laughs> and from then on, I gathered all the eggs all the time. And as for the little red hen, well, I left her alone. She just doesn't understand the scientific method. 